Well, and you know, Axel. Uh, so, given that I'm not going to wait a millennium for a 20-minute video to upload of me just ranting on a Finnish World War II history and its context... Uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do vlogs for the time being because oh my god there's nothing else for me to do when I'm not gonna wait for 20 minutes for like 20 minutes to get upload. So um something interesting happened today. Uh, I was gonna talk about the week about my week, but some, some, an interesting letter came um in the mail today that um that candy I got it from my parent my mom who came down t today for the Spectrum Scholars. Um, most <laughs> why did my brain give up on me? Um, the tailgate for today's home game against Elon University. Um, and um, so then I was out at dinner um, just a few hours ago, and I got an interesting letter. I'm going to show you it real quick. This is a letter from the, um, the poor, the poor Luz, what the, wait, let me get this name right. This is a Finnish name. Poor Lustus Voimat, which is translated to Finnish as the Ministry of it's just the Finnish Ministry Ministry of Defense. Um, so for those who don't know, Finland's a conscription country, which means that all men starting at age eighteen um, will be called for military service. Um, they will be called for for the average about time spent is about six to nine months, but depending on what, uh, but depending on what, you know skill set, what role you end up gaining, whether it's be an enlisted man or an office or an officer of various kinds, whether it be an NCO or otherwise. You could be ranging from as little as four months to as much as a year. And so, um, today, um, I, I got a letter from the Finnish Ministry of Defense saying that was in regards to the, to, um, military service. Um, the one thing I should make, I should really make note of is that Finland, that there's a, tr that there was an agreement signed between, fin between what was at the time, uh, Finnish, um, um, Prime Minister Vain Tanner, leader of the Social Democratic Party, um, and and U.S. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, um, and that basically said um, that was signed in January 1939. That said, people who have dual citizenship between the United States and Finland, or are permanent or are permanent residents of the United States and Finland, or permanent um, um, or permanent residents of or citizens of Finland and permanent res permanently residing in the United States, don't need to serve are exempt from military conscription. And that's what this letter is saying. Um, I currently have the, it's sent in, it's currently in Swedish due to the fact that, um, that um, I am registered, that the local, the nearest office of the, of, fin of nearest construction office is, is in the, is in the city of Vasa, which is in what, which is a Western Finland in, um, in a region known as Ostabotnia, so with lots of Swedish speakers. So it's in Swedish. And I thought I just kind of vlog myself sort of talking about this letter and about Finnish conscription. Um, so yeah, I'm, um, so I don't technically need to, which, thank God, because I'd rather, because, um, um, because I would do this if, you know, things were more desperate in Ukraine, but it's simply not the case. You know, we got, um, you know, the situation is fairly stable, so I'm not really concerned. If I was concerned for, for, for my, for my, uh, for my Finnish fatherland safety, I would absolutely do so, but I don't think I need to. Um, so it's just, uh, let me, let me, let me read here. I'll try to do my best to mentally translate the Swedish, what that I still know, which is basically, this is from the, uh, basically Finnish conscription office that, um, that because I'm an American sit I'm an American citizen, I'm a Finnish citizen living in the United States and I have dual citizenship. Um, I, I, I am, I do not need to serve military, um, service, um, for military service as a result of a, of a treaty between the Republic of Finland and the United States. States, um, it's between the, um, the, um, wait, what is it? <sighs> um, basically, and basically the, I'm sorry for the Ministry for Foreign Affairs for the United States, because I don't know, I actually don't remember what it's called. I'm sorry, I'm just going to use it, to, what, what you would call if you're a European country, which would be sort of Ministry, ministry for Foreign Affairs, signed in January 27th, 1939, basically saying, I do not need to serve. I, however, um, you know, I do have a few experiences with basically a lot of my relatives um, being required to serve their time in as a Finnish as in in the Finnish military, um, such as you know, like my cousins, you know, such as um, Samuel, Sebastian, some of these are some of my cousins, by the way, so, 
and um, as well as a few more singles like my um, Kimi Me you uh, whose name who's, that's that's his, that's his uh, legal name. Um, so yeah, I, I thought I'd just take about like, a few minutes just to talk about Finnish conscription and and you know I'm I'm very proud of Finnish citizen, but at the same time I want to be able to document European history. So to round of the video, here's me holding the Finnish flag. Um, um, you know, and one thing I got to say, I'm gonna say I've made a, a pledge I made to myself. This is a pledge I made for myself, throwing with little speech I still know together, is as I pledge allegiance to the flag of Finland in the I trip out every day. Till Finland mit Fusteland werden's beste, beste ever alla andra. And.